Video game maps are becoming bigger and bigger as games become more advanced over time. But just last week, with the help of artificial intelligence and high-resolution 3D geospatial technology, Cesium released a map of the whole world, completely in 3D, for anyone to use in their games or applications for free. What does this mean for the future of the industry and how will people be able to make use of this? All this I will explain in this video. Cesium's 3D World Maps was granted the Unreal Mega Grants last year, which is a big monetary sponsoring to enable future development of groundbreaking technologies. Over the last few years, Unreal Engine has become the de facto game engine for any kind of developer, whether it's a big game studio or a single indie developer. Its use of the most recent cutting-edge technologies for game development have made it into games such as Fortnite, Spyro, Tekken, several Nintendo games and more that are in development. Unreal Engine has always been ahead of the competition in terms of graphics, physics and ease of use ever since they released the first version of their engine back in 1998. Recent technologies from them that seem to shape the future of games, movies and art are the Nanite Renderer which allows for infinitely detailed geometry and its advanced physics simulation that allows for destructible environments. That in combination with the real-life objects scanned by Quixel Megascans will enable for actual photorealistic environments to be created by developers. Now, Unreal Engine has a new defining technology under its belt. Cesium for Unreal enables a high-accuracy full-scale globe in Unreal Engine. With this new plugin, developers now have the ability to create interactive, virtual worlds using accurate real-world 3D content captured from cameras and litter sensors on satellites, drones, and intelligent machines, similar to the way Google and Bing captured 3D maps for their map services. Mark Petit, VP and General Manager of Unreal Engine said that, Cesium's expertise in cloud-based geospatial software applications and leadership on open standards for streaming massive 3D content makes them an ideal partner to support Epic's vision for an open metaverse. This, in combination with the features of Unreal Engine I've mentioned before, really proves that Unreal Engine is moving more and more in a direction where it's intending to simulate an alternative reality to ours. And it seems that it's not that far away from reaching that point. The implementation of 3D geographic technology in real-world environments, from building immersive experiences in artist-created scenes to those based on 3D content in its precise geographic location represents a shift in industries including training and simulation, architecture, engineering, construction, automotive transportation, television, live events, and games. So pretty much everyone is going to profit and be able to take advantage of the ability of having the entire world's geography in their hands. The plugin is the first step toward a future where immersive, global-scale 3D applications with pinpoint precision are ubiquitous across industries. You don't have to think very hard to see the potential of Cesium. Microsoft's Flight Simulator 2020 was probably the first commercial game that used a game map consisting of the whole world and was a huge critical acclaim. People were amazed after realizing they could find their neighborhoods and explore different countries without leaving their homes. Now imagine this in form of a massively multiplayer online role-playing game and a role-playing strategy game featuring the whole world. All this can now be done by any kind of developer, big or small that's using Unreal Engine. It wouldn't surprise me if we saw completely new genres emerge from this. For example, imagine having virtual reality school trips to remote places to which traveling in real life would be too dangerous. This alone would be a huge benefit in our current ever more digitized world. Or imagine some sort of VR chat application that spans its game map over the whole world. It's becoming more and more clear in what direction technology is moving. Simulations done in game engines are getting more and more realistic physics simulations, bigger maps, better graphics and more immersive ways of playing in the form of virtual reality headsets. It wouldn't surprise me if in a decade or two, we could simulate a somewhat realistic representation of our own world in which we can do experiments or just mess around in. Of course it's not just possible to import the entire world, you can also change anything in the world map by using the standard Unreal Engine landscaping tools. Imagine doing simulations of how time changes the environment, or add indoor locations to houses that have only been captured from the outside. This is also something where artificial intelligence will be very useful in the future where it could automatically generate and modify the world in a way that makes sense. For example, 
automatically adding indoor areas to buildings, improving texture and model quality or making certain objects like traffic lights dynamic. This technology in combination with AI is a literal game changer. Cesium could also be a game changer for national security or environment analysis in connection with natural disasters. In addition to game development, Epic and Cesium are seeing the potential for applications in BIM, autonomous driving, AR, VR apps, and content creation. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? So how can this be free and how will you be able to take advantage of Cesium? First of all, Cesium is sponsored by Epic Games Mega Grants and thus got a good initial cash flow. On the other hand, while it's free for people just experimenting with it, after exceeding a certain amount of bandwidth that gets used up by creating the environment, you'll have to pay for certain plans to continue using Cesium in your project from that point onwards. So big multiplayer games where the globe has to be streamed to multiple people could potentially get pretty expensive. But just for you and a few friends to mess around with, it's completely free. Prices will likely also drop as time goes on. Cesium said that, community success is at the core of Cesium's DNA. We believe that significant and sustained contributions to the ecosystem create lasting value and advance our craft faster than a pure play proprietary model. As such, Cesium for Unreal is free and open source under the liberal Apache 2.0 license. Cesium Ion is an optional commercial service that provides real-world 3D content and 3D tiling pipelines, which supports funding our open source development. If you want to see an approximation of how good this tool is, try out the JavaScript version of Cesium that has existed for a while now since Cesium for Unreal is a complement to Cesium JS an open-source purpose-built 3D engine for the web. They are advancing both engines in parallel and cross-leveraging their efforts, for example, by advancing 3D tile specifications, by utilizing Cesium Ion services, and by simply applying lessons learned on topics such as high-precision rendering and 3D tile streaming optimizations. So what is your opinion on Cesium? Do you see it change the landscape of games and their development in the future or do you think that good games will always take place in a custom-made world that's handcrafted by developers? Do you like the direction in which this is moving? Please tell us in the comments of this video. I'd love to take part in the discussions around it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.